Hey everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bull. It took a little while, but the first day of school has finally arrived, and as usual, it was a mix of excitement and nerves. We stopped by Washington Elementary this morning to watch as parents sent their little ones off to class. Washington, as you might know, has a walking school bus, so most students arrive on foot each morning. Of course, on the first day, mom and dad usually tag along. We saw lots of photos taken, lots of hugs, and a few tears. When the first bell of the year rang, teachers were on hand to walk their kiddos into the classroom and start the learning. And check this out. People were posting pictures all morning on social media of the first day. We're going to take a look at just a few here, and we'll start with Sam Pike and her adorable son who goes to Washington. He proves it's important to look sharp on your first day of school. Over at Ogden Elementary, they had a special photo booth set up for students. Ogden is scheduled to be replaced thanks to the bond measure passed by voters. The construction project has already begun, and this will be the final first day at the old building. And this was the first day for this little guy who began kindergarten today at Salmon Creek. His mom, Alicia, posted this absolutely adorable photo. What a memory that will be for Alicia and her little learner. And finally, it is tough to be a kindergartner as evidenced in this photo from Crystal Reed. This is her little one taking a break from first day activities. It's tough to start full day kindergarten when you're not used to it. And I'm sure this young lady will be up to speed in no time. And even if they're too cool to admit it, it's an exciting day for middle schoolers too. We checked in at Thomas Jefferson Middle School this morning where there's a big change this year. There's an undeniable buzz in the air as students wait for the first bell at Thomas Jefferson Middle School. It's the first day of school and that means reconnecting with friends, figuring out where to go, and saying goodbye to mom and dad. Like many sixth graders, Lainey is feeling... Excited and kind of nervous. It's her first day at Jefferson, and she's not alone. It's also the first day for new principal, Luke LeCount. I'm certainly more anxious than I am nervous. Mr. LeCount was an administrator at Skyview High School, and before that, a teacher at Jason Lee Middle School. Kind of that pure energy and excitement that they still have at this, at this age is exciting. It's, uh, um, you know, you can kind of feel it throughout the building. This is his first opportunity to be a principal, and he's already noticed a difference. The extra weight of feeling um, uh, the pressure to have answers for everything is much different. But he's ready for it, bringing with him a plan and two points of emphasis. We want high quality instruction every day and an intentional climate and culture. Jefferson is a positive place to be. Just to keep an overall climate of positivity is, I think, essential. And we've got it here. Students understand the importance of having a good principal. Because they're like in charge of the school. And they run the school, basically. With your problems, you can either solve them out with your friends or um, something, but usually you should go to your principal if something's happening. And if they're not a good principal, then I guess you... They won't take you seriously. Yeah, well, they won't take you seriously. Mr. LeCount recognizes he is accountable to everyone in the building. We want um, every student and staff member, when they walk through the doors, know that this is a safe, predictable environment. And as the bell rings, students enter the building full of hope for a new year. Hope that's matched by the staff and the school's new principal. We all want this to go really well. We, and, uh, you know, people invest their uh, heart, energy, and lives into this work. And we want this to be a, a great experience for everybody, staff and students and families that send their children here every day. So. Mr. LeCount is just the third principal in Jefferson's history, and he says he's honored to be among their ranks. And as you may know, the start of the school year was delayed a few days as the school district and teachers union negotiated a new contract. There are a couple of things parents need to know about their child's schedule. First, as negotiated in the contract, the school year will include 31 early release days. Every Monday, school is out 40 minutes early so that teachers have time for professional development. There are a couple of exceptions to that, however, so check your school's calendar. The other change is that the missed school days will be added back into the calendar and those days will be scheduled very soon. The first day of school is not only exciting for kids and teachers, but for district level administrators too. We caught up with Superintendent Dr. Steve Webb at Hauk Elementary. Dr. Webb visited several sites alongside school board member Rosemary Fryer. At Hauk, they got a personal tour from Principal Steve Vance. This is an annual tradition for the superintendent and the board who love to get into the classroom and see the work happening inside. They, like teachers and parents, are glad that class is back in session. The first day of school, spending time in classrooms and schools really is just about welcoming 
people back to the school community. There's so much joy and excitement uh, and hope for the school year. Every school in the district got a visit from an administrator and a board member to welcome students and staff back for another year. And because he can't greet every employee personally, Dr. Webb shares an annual welcome back video. This year, in addition to a greeting from the superintendent, the video focuses on the special relationship between staff and students. It's an inspiring look at how any adult in a school building can have an impact on kids. And you can see the video online at the district's YouTube page. And if you're on social media, speaking of YouTube, why not connect with Vancouver Public Schools? We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Until next time, I'm Nick Cole.